What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about this jacket that I'm wearing. It's so nice looking. Stay tuned. So I wanted to go out and film for you guys, but um, my town just randomly had hurricanes back to back. I don't even live in an area where we get hurricanes, but lo and behold, we got hurricanes. At least we get nice views right now. Like, look at those clouds. So uh, what we have instead is a trailer on a motorcycle, okay. What we have instead is me in my little workshop showing you this jacket. So let's just cut to that. It's a Hawk Motorsport apparel jacket that I bought, but it is very good for road wear. Like you can here, it's pretty, pretty stiff. I loved so much that, in fact, I actually bought two. <laughs> it's not a sponsored video, I want everyone to remember that. I bought these jackets with my own money because I wanted them. This one is built just like the Shop Perfecto. If you look on the back of it, it is one big piece of leather, which by the way, that's actually a good indication on if it's a good quality jacket or not. They also have the slat here, which when you wear the jacket, it actually follows your arm. See, this is what I mean by the slats. The zippers are YKK, which are an amazing zipper company. Another cool thing about this jacket is that they have a liner on the inside. It's kind of cheap, but for the money that I paid, I really can't complain about this. This one right here, I have it configured in a more casual, relaxed state. It doesn't have padding in it, so I can wear it like on night rides when I know there's not a lot of people on the road and I trust myself to not be doing dumb maneuvers. <laughs> If I go on the highway, I do actually opt out for my other jacket, which I have it set up with my CE rated pads. A gun pocket, both inside and up here for concealed carry. You have a cell phone pocket for also concealed carry if your girlfriend is jealous and wants to go through your phone. Sorry, babe. I have your coin pocket here, which I like to use for paraphernalia. And then you have your regular pockets on the sides. It has adjustability on the waistband without it being a belt. I know the belt looks cool, but actually what it really does is scratch the paint on your tank. This jacket does have functional wrist zippers. A lot of jackets that are cheaper made, if they do have the zipper, they unzip and it's just your skin there. You'd think that that's fine, you'd just zip it up, but the problem with that is that the air would pass through. Already we're seeing signs of jackets that are in the two to $300 range, but this is awesome because if I get really cold and my neck gets cold, I could just fold this piece in and zip this all the way up. Now I have a protected neck. Now to wear the other jacket, which I have it set up for long highway rides. I don't have the liner in this one. It gets warm in this jacket. The, the three millimeter thickness is not a joke. But we have elbows, shoulders, and back. So this is an elbow pad. On the shoulder, we have pads that are like this. The pockets are there, so if you really don't like these, you can always swap these out for your own. Let's take these out for a ride. One of them, because I can't wear two jackets at the same time. Yeah, I can. It's about 75 out right now. There's not really any wind. As you can see, these people are wearing summer clothes. And uh, I'm dressed in full gear. Well, quote unquote full gear. I have the jacket without the pads in right now. Uh, but it does have the thermal liner in simply because it's more comfortable to wear it that way. I'm not actually hot. I almost didn't have a video for you guys this week because of the weather. And uh, it's kind of hard to do a moto vlog when it's uh, like disgusting outside. Right now we're doing uh, 55 and if I wasn't wearing this jacket right now I'd actually feel the wind but this jacket's so nice that I don't even feel the wind. You, you feel the wind wearing this but not in a way where it's like fatiguing or anything. You could ride like this for hours. It's so thick and, uh, and nice. You wouldn't expect it to be supple however it is. It, it moves around you know it, it does take a few rides to break in but once it has broken in you feel like you're part of your motorcycle. Oh, it's a big spider. Thanks, man. It's a Magna. Honda Magna. Yeah. Thanks. I always love when I get compliments on this. He's like, no shit, it's a Honda. Yeah. Those of you that don't know what Honda Magnas are, they're one of the best bikes ever. If you're looking for a cruiser bike with the performance of a street bike. This might be what you're looking for. These zippers that are on these motorcycles, I don't know if you can see it on the camera right now, but they're like 
offset to the side. The reason they do that is actually because when you're hunched over, um, if you have a normal zipper, it's likely for your zipper to like do the zipper boner thing, you know, like if you wear jeans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's a second benefit where one flap goes on the inside, one flap goes on the outside. And because of that, the wind doesn't come through the opening of the zipper in between the gaps. So you don't even feel the wind on this. I actually really love this jacket. I almost never ride without it. And if I do, it's maybe for like a couple miles, at, you know, if that. Vermont, 98 degrees is super hot because it's very humid out here. So if that tells you anything, you know, like average humidity is at least 65%. I still think that this is like one of the best all around jackets you can buy. I can wear it in cold weather, I can wear it in warm weather, I can layer up with it, I can layer down with it. Right now I'm just wearing a t-shirt underneath and it's fine. If I get too cold I could just put in the collar flap so that way it zips all the way up and not only three quarters of the way. I have no gripes about this jacket. For 50 bucks, I think it's an amazing jacket. <laughs> It wouldn't be the Manny Marvelous YouTube channel if I wasn't burping inside my helmet on one of my rides, huh? When I reach 10,000 subscribers, I will give one of these jackets away, I will sign it, I'll do whatever you want to it, that'll be my thank you. Oh, that looks fucking amazing. Look at that. That's awesome. Thanks for watching, everyone. Comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you'd like, and I'll catch you on the next one. Woo! Nice! Alright, peace! Yeah, I got a problem. What's your problem, man? I can't fit through doorways. <laughs>